Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I have yet another video about the Sony a6400. Today is all about an accessory that solves the good old hot shoe getting blocked by the selfie display, the selfie rotation, that 180 degree that we all love. Well, at least that's part of the marketing, right? Uh, but inherently, if you were to add a dedicated microphone like the Rode Micro that I have right here, so that you have some dedicated audio rather than the built-in audio, of course, your display is now blocked because of the, the hot shoe being right there. So a uh, manufacturer in China, Yulanzi, who's also sent me some other things to review, uh, very inexpensive. I think it's like $13. Um, I've seen some other solutions. I believe this is the least expensive of them all. Uh, essentially just mounts and then gives you the ability to use your uh, device of choice. So let's take a look. They tell you, I'm just looking on the packaging, if there's anything noteworthy. It's coming from Shenzhen. That's the address uh, made in China. I don't really see anything else. It's just a triple cold shoe mount. So if you have a cage, obviously a good thing. Uh, this is made out of metal, believe it or not. It is a metal piece. Get that into focus. And then the mount, the cold shoe mount, which should just pop right on. So based on what I'm seeing on the diagram of the box and uh, that I have studied rocket science, uh, it looks like the smaller portion, this is for the tripod side, this is for the, the shoe is what it appears to me. So let's go ahead and try to mount that up. See if I'm correct. I am playing a little bit of a guessing game. See if I get this threaded. Looks like I've got it. So that's threaded. There you go. Let's get the box out of the way. And of course, this is adjustable based on where you're positioning it. Um, should be able to move. Might be locked in. Looks like it's locked in. So if we go ahead and just mount this onto the bottom of the A6400, Hopefully, I am mounting this into its tripod mount. There it is. We now have the ability to flip up the screen and still have a cold shoe mount. So now, the full Monty, we can connect our microphone accessory. I think I have it a little bit tightened up. So let me go ahead and loosen that. It's a little bit tight. There we go. Center it, tighten it up. And go ahead and plug in. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky because um, I have mounted it to this side. Um, you could go to the other side, but then you'd be blocking the battery door. So that wouldn't make a hell of a lot of sense. And then pop this in. Looks like I've got some Rusalon fur. That is my cat near the ports. Isn't that lovely, right? And there you go. So now you have the ability, I don't have the, uh, the guard over it for uh, wind noise reduction, cutting down, you know, the, but now you have your vlogging kit ready to go. The screen is fully viewable uh, and you've got onboard audio eliminated. You now have dedicated audio, which uh, the video micro, the Rode video micro is, I would say best in class not too expensive and does get the job done. Now, as far as this thing, I've got to spend some time with it and really make sure that um, it's sturdy enough. But for $13, it feels like it is. Um, if you had a cage on here, this doesn't look like it would make it. So this would have to be your setup, uh, but it looks good to me. I mean, I really don't have any complaints. I'm gonna test it out, uh, but it does solve that problem. So there you go, for $13, uh, Yulanzi, I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing that correctly, has a solution for you. Very simple, straightforward, and you now have the ability to connect uh, dedicated audio without blocking your display. And yes, there are other products out there and they pretty much work the same. One of them actually utilizes the hot shoe and just brings it over to the side. That slightly still impairs the screen. So I actually think this design is smarter. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Wanted to share it with all of you. Uh, this was furnished to me by the manufacturer, but uh, the only reason I 
okayed it was because it's an accessory that I know many of you, if you are actually after using the A6400 as a vlog style camera, you're going to need something like this if you want slightly better audio, at least, you know, in the form of a Rode Micro or something low profile like that. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.